Previously on Chosen Ones, Brandy contacts Four via Dream, asking her about her role in his death. She explains she was simply following orders and knew little of his past outside of what she was told. Brandy mentioned that he's recently discovered Naim is still around, and Four asks to send them her way so that they can apologize for not listening to her and leading the other members of the Nine into danger. Theo and Shui practice meditation, Theo hoping to get a better handle on his anxiety for the events that are to come. Meanwhile, Aviath and Brandy jog around the compound, still thinking about what name would suit the party best as they leave their mark on history. Hold me close till I get up. Time is barely on our side. I don't want to waste what's left. The storms we chase are leading us. And love is all we'll ever trust. And we'll grow. breakfast theo trying not to sigh exasperatedly as brand goes on about like oh i don't know i think <laughs> <laughs> i like your impression of him <laughs> the freaky four is pretty good the freaky four i'm sure we'll think of a name eventually but um about the plans <laughs> <laughs> yeah so um heading to mirror depths next i think is the best idea it seems like a lot of our our plans are, or a lot of what we want, is kind of lining us up towards that direction. So, probably be for the best. See about finding Nine, see about saving Titus, see about finding that Black Heart. There's a lot of stuff in that direction. And that does involve adventuring underwater, doesn't it? Yeah, it sure does. So I'll have to get something. My arrows don't exactly from my longbow have as much uh, power underwater. Oh, yeah, that's fair. We'll stop off somewhere before we go, right? Yeah, Vyth, you brought up going to going to Hillfar, you said? Yes, Hillfar is nearby. We could try shopping there and see if they have anything helpful. Yeah. All right, uh, sounds good. I, uh, probably a weapon, and I'll try to find some some armor for it, but I don't know. It's not exactly the same. We'll also have to figure out some way of breathing underwater. Wink, wink. <laughs> oh, actually, after we had that whole adventure back then, I got pretty anxious about falling in water, so I learned a spell for it. Uh, water breathing. Oh, great. That's perfect. I think that would work on all of us, right? Yes, it, it would, and it would last a day. So we'd have to um get in and out pretty quick. I think we'll be fine with that. Hopefully, yeah. I mean, with what we want to do. That's perfect. Good job on being prepared, Theo. Yeah. Oh, that was uh, a long time uh, ago. I just wanted to be super prepared, and it was like on my mind at the time. And Pat's Theo on the back. <laughs> uh, if we don't get out of there in time, at the very least... I mean, if we get split up at any point and it's, you know, 24 hours, just come find me specifically and I'll I'll cast the spell again. I think we'll be all right. Seems we have a plan, but how are we going to be getting everywhere? Well, if I were to summon Hestia, I believe traveling from Hillfar to Mirror Depths would be a pretty quick trip. Right. Uh, and to Hillfar, you, Shui? Uh, I don't know. I've never been to Hillfar. Hmm. I don't know how accurate... My teleportation would be. Would getting a description of the place help you uh, help you land a little bit better? Only a little bit. I have to roll between a like I have to roll over a seventy four. So, <laughs> but if you're like, if you get off, you just get teleported somewhere close to it. Yeah, yeah it you get teleported close. pretty close. As long as you don't roll like a forty three or lower, you're good. yeah. 
That's when you get teleported into the ground and die. <laughs> <laughs> I guess even if I'm a little bit off. I got his Hestia, right? Exactly. Yeah, if we're if we're thrown off a little bit, it won't be that big a deal. It's nothing the fabled four can't handle, you know. <laughs> right? Right. I, I actually kind of like that one. Looks so fire. You know, Shuey, if you needed something from the place, I've been there myself. It was pretty close to where I lived for a while. I have uh, purchased some things there before. Oh, that might help. Cool. Uh, my crook is finally useful. <laughs> <laughs> I think it really works if the item is something you can't get anywhere else. Mm. So maybe you're right. Maybe your cook was like handcrafted or something. Uh, you know, I can't remember. It's been a while. I'm sure it wasn't like mass produced. <laughs> so. Yeah, there are no factories yet <laughs> mass producing crooks. <laughs> sure, I'm, I'm sure that's the case. Well, there we go. Alright then. Got a game plan. Yeah, a plan. Now we can relax for the rest of the week, huh? <laughs> yeah. We can yeah. we can take it easy. Yeah. Nothing will go wrong. Nothing will go wrong. No one will die. No more fights. Well, why did you say yeah. no one will die? No. <laughs> <laughs> why did you say that? That's pretty extreme. Uh, <laughs> That's silly. Who's ever died at the compound? <laughs> <laughs> no one. Never ever. What are all these flags appearing on me? Oh, they look like death flags. <laughs> <laughs> Why do they have skulls and crossbones? <laughs> oh my gosh. I think it would be good to let uh, Riddle, Draga, and Essence know about this as well. I'm sure they're concerned about their friend. I'm certain Essence would want to help. And maybe Miffy too. Uh, definitely Miffy. I feel like we... The whole, kind of the reason we brought Miffy here was to help with this whole situation. Oh, right. Yeah, Miffy can find anything as long as he's seen it, and you've confirmed he can do it if you turn into it, so. So that might help. As long as he for sure agrees to it, I uh, admit I'm a little uncomfortable with how things have gone recently. Oh? Uh, it just feels like we've put a lot of pressure on him after his whole life just got Turned upside down. Yeah, I suppose I could see that. I think we got more so wrapped up in that we found Essence's sibling. Seemed like a pretty big deal that, you know, Miffy seemingly didn't know anything. It was more so around reuniting that, but... And it's good that we have tried to help, but we should definitely check in on him. Right, of course. Yeah, cool. Meeting a giant... All right, we can time skip. <laughs> Good talk, team. Good talk, Fabled Four. There you go. <laughs> it's catching on. So, which mentor do you want to talk to? He doesn't always know where the mentors are, but he can usually guess at a source in the library. So, I think that's his go-to place. So, you go to the library to go talk to Estel to let her know that you're leaving. Uh, pretty standard, you go up. I assume you're knocking unless you're not. Yeah, he knocks this time. You hear from the other side, ah, come in. He opens the door. I remembered to knock this time. Thank you, much appreciated. I wanted to update you about our plans. Um, Brandy, Theo, Shuey, and I plan to travel to Mirror Depths in about a week. What are you going there for? Well, we've got a number of things to resolve there. Um, it seems Titus has been taken there, possibly against his will. It seems like the royal family wants to use him for something. You'd have to ask Brandy about the details, but it doesn't seem like he's enthusiastic to be there, from what I can tell, and we'd like to check up on him. I see. We suspect Nine is also in the mirror depth somewhere. Well, that's a lot. Well, considering everything else that's going on, maybe not that much, I guess. <laughs> In the grand scheme of things, I suppose not. But hopefully by retrieving Nine, we can uh, get the Nine back together to aid us. Mirror depths... If you're going to where Titus is from, Looking Glass is a rather difficult place to get into without the proper credentials. Oh, do you know any way we might be able to get in there then? 
Well, all my things are from Black Peak, which won't probably be welcomed into that kingdom. But I think Wynn might have something that could help you. Wynn? Uh, why would he have something? His mother is from the Prime Capital, actually. And the Prime Capital is welcomed into most kingdoms, so he might have something. I see. Huh. Maybe we should consider bringing Wynn along, then. I wouldn't. The Looking Glass is an underwater kingdom, and wind spells won't work on him, so he won't be able to breathe. Oh, right. Ooh, okay. Can't do that, then. Quite a to-do list here. Uh, we suspect Mizuni might be in the area as well. That is where she's said to reside. Hopefully, maybe Shui's parents, but that's sort of just uh, a guess. Shot in the dark, I guess. Big shot in the dark. I'd be surprised. <laughs> Uh, I would be too, but, you know, the other reasons are plenty of reason to go look at Mirror Depths. I would warn that Looking Glass is also rather close to Mizuni's lair. They actually worship her, so it's a pretty common deity. Hmm, that's good to know. Uh, we're going to stop by Hillfar first, just to gather some materials for underwater travel. And we're going to ask, possibly, Essence, Miffy, Riddle, and Drago, see if they want to come along. That's quite a large party to bring on to a mission. Well, the more the merrier. Maybe not in this case, with all the jabbers out and about. A smaller party is probably better. Hmm, I see. Well, I'm afraid we would probably have to leave Riddle and Drago behind then. Oh, darn. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. I don't get to play as four NPCs. What? The two most important characters in the series? <laughs> well, um... Hilfar is one of the smaller major cities. It's really only on the maps because there's not a lot over there besides that, but they might have some things. Uh, I do know if you get the proper credentials to get into Looking Glass, then they usually provide something to be able to allow you to breathe, since a lot of outsiders obviously can't. Well, breathing in particular we've got covered. Theo can cast water breathing. Yes, but you'd probably want something to ensure that that couldn't be dispelled. Good point, yes. <laughs> they they probably have more underwater materials in there, so thank you for the advice. If you need help getting to Hilfar, Libris and Zyri, I think, should be back from their trip in a couple days. Or any day now, honestly. Right, that would be excellent. Uh, yeah, we have time to wait. We were actually planning on taking a week off before our travels, so that would be excellent. I would encourage that. A lot's happened. Sure has, yes. <laughs> the others definitely see worn out. And I know things feel like they're very pressing, but also, if there isn't an immediate threat, it's good to take breaks where you can get them. Avayath, being the non-stop adventure he is, doesn't take that to heart, but he says, Thank you, Estel. I don't understand. <laughs> <laughs> we have a show to run, Estel. <laughs> we can't just sit here for 14 sessions doing nothing. <laughs> good advice. It's always good to let your body rest. Won't be at full power if you don't, of course. She gives, like, a tiny smile at that. Make sure you rest, Havayath. Of course I will. <sighs> Did you need anything else from me? I believe that's all for now. I'll see you later, then. Okay, see you. Let me know when you're leaving. Of course, I'll make sure to let you know. And he closes the door and clanks away. Uh, Shui, you wanted to go talk to Dashi. Yeah, I do want to talk to Dashi. She would actually request that you go and talk to her at night, oddly enough, which you find is a little weird, but she does ask you to do that. That is a little weird, but Dashi says, so I'm gonna do it. When you go and, and talk to her, she seems like she's very deep in thought and uh, concerned with something. Seems like she was on her way to talk to Estel, uh, and she asks you to meet up with her at the pond later in the evening. I let Brandy know where I'm going. Cool. And then I go. <laughs> I was like, I don't know. I'm just going to shoot someone. <laughs> but I guess it makes sense since Brandy's like, you went to the fucking keep by yourself. Are you serious? <laughs> That's fair. Let <laughs> us know where you are going. <laughs> <laughs> don't be sneaking out, young man. <laughs> <laughs> so you go to talk to Dashi. Um, it's starting to become evening at this point. The moon is starting to come out. Not all the way out yet. Uh, it's only about probably like a half moon. Uh, at this point, maybe a little more. And Dashi is waiting for you at the edge of the pond um, when you come out. Master Dashi? Oh, 
Shui, you startled me. You looked like you were deep in thought. Right. Yes. I am. A lot of things happening. He um walks closer to the pond to stand next to her. Yeah, a lot of things have been happening lately. But I wonder what's on your mind to have you thinking like this. Well, um, I was merged with someone, and that was strange. That was very odd. And she's looking at the water again. <laughs> <laughs> You're also really, really short. I was, and I'm not anymore. Sorry um, about that. It wasn't your fault, I don't think. I asked Winona if she could keep you safe, and um, I think that was her idea of doing so. Well, she got me out of there, and honestly, I'm not the fighter I used to be. It probably was for the best. <laughs> yeah, she was like, what? No, I don't believe that. We haven't really sparred in a while. I feel a bit rusty sometimes. He does kind of look a little, just a little bit sad, because, like, yeah, they really haven't sparred in a while. Was I, um, different as a child? Sometimes you spoke oddly. Just figured you were finding yourself. You had that imaginary friend. What was their name? Oh, it doesn't matter. Uh, I actually uh, wanted to talk to you about me. What about you? <laughs> There's so much, apparently. Um, I, I don't even know where to start. Especially since I don't even have all the answers. I never did. I just did what your parents asked of me and hoped for the best. I hope you don't think any worse of your parents. No, I understand why they might have felt that they had to do uh, what they had to do. Their blade came from Winona. They got an order from her to take care of things. Well, it made sense. Except, uh, maybe she never actually died or stayed dead. Also not surprising. <laughs> Your mother was quite the pacifist, so hearing that she was going off to kill a god of all things, hard to believe. So, um, as it turns out, um, Ibishu and I, we are kind of the same person. Looks up for you. <laughs> <laughs> Shui, you're an elf. Like a half-elf. Yeah, I don't really get it either. But my sword lets me talk to Ibishu. You know, that would explain a lot of very weird things about your childhood. She looks up towards the water again. <laughs> <laughs> and apparently, ah, uh, because of Winona, maybe she's, I guess, mind and body was split, kind of. Ibishu has all of the, all of my memories from before I was Shui, and I don't remember any of it. He was quite a young god, so I don't know what memories you would have. He spent a lot of time in the moon. Ibishu uh, was born to hurt Winona. But turns out, they got really close to each other. Gods in there. Folklore. Always such tragedy. I think we split because Ibishu didn't want that. He said I had an imaginary friend, but I think the person I was talking to this whole time, uh, Stormy, I think that was Ibishu. Though I don't know how I was able to talk to him at first. You know, you had the strangest thing sometimes as a kid. I swear you were taller than you actually were. <laughs> Just thought it was a big personality. 
You know, when you laughed when you were a baby, storms would happen. That was weird. <laughs> Can you imagine how much stuff Dashi had to just ignore? <laughs> 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 And just be like, oh, weird. And then you apparated onto the roof one time. <laughs> that was weird. Your parents always just said to raise you like you were my own, and I never had kids of my own, so. I'm curious how Bishu felt about Dashi. I'm just curious. Never asked him. <laughs> Nanny. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Na- <laughs> Nanny. <laughs> <laughs> Speaking of parents. Ibishu was born from Mizuni and Verada. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> rough. Pretty rough. <laughs> 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 well, that's who you got your sword from, isn't it, Mizuni? He nods. I thought it was just a trick. She likes to do things that are unsavory. She knew from the beginning that I was Ibishu, or rather, that her son was in me. I'm surprised she didn't try and take you. Maybe she did. <laughs> I don't know. He kept... It was that time you vanished for a week. No, it's getting... <laughs> <laughs> no um, for the longest time, I hated her for taking something away from me. But I realized that she lost even more. She's supposed to be in Mirror Depths, and that's where we're going next. I want to see her face to face. Do you have to do all these big things? He's quiet for a bit, and then he kind of like um, looks Dashi in the eyes and says, I think I do, Master Dashi. She kind of like puts a hand up to your face. I know you're not technically a kid anymore, but you still feel like one to me. He grabs her hand, you know, like puts his hand over her hand that's on his face, you know what I mean? Thank you for taking care of me. I'd do it again in a heartbeat. Oh. You said you were looking for Mitra Estolda? Earlier, yes, we had a talk. Uh, is everything okay? Maybe. Um, Maybe? <laughs> <laughs> it seems merging with Aelia for a time perhaps did fix things. I don't think that was her intention. I think it was just a side effect. There's still some issues. And as she says that, you can see within the moonlight, uh, wings fluttering on her back. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Master... Master Dashi, are those? He's like rushing around. They only appear in the moonlight, but yes. Do they work? Can I touch them? I haven't tried. I'd prefer if you didn't. No roll. Restraint. <laughs> <laughs> Restraint. Ah, <laughs> uh, it was a good roll. Unfortunately, I rolled an eighteen. Does not touch Dashi's wings. Okay. She she like turns a little bit away from you. She's like, please don't. They make me uncomfortable. <laughs> <laughs> I thought at first everything was back to normal, but then the first night happened. I stepped outside, just felt like I couldn't sleep for some reason. And then um, I I had wings. So here we are. Uh, I'm sorry about that again. It's fine. I I haven't noticed anything else odd. How long are you going to stay here at the compound? I don't know. I'm sure it would be nice to go back home. But I also know it's dangerous out there right now. If anything, though, that makes me want to go home more. I hope everyone at Moonfum is okay. I trained some of the best, best sword users in that village, even if they weren't sword singers. (laughs) You're right. It should be okay. But I'd still... if If only I had the time. I don't want to check on them myself. I'm sure once you're back from your little trip, it wouldn't it wouldn't hurt just to go for a visit, right? There's mentors here who can teleport. That, uh, the one who, uh, Merlin, she can. 
She's here, I've seen her walking around. Now she doesn't even know she was dead. <laughs> uh, yeah, you're right. Thank you for talking with me, Master Adashi. Of course, I wish I had more information for you, but I was not given much from your parents. I had this feeling from them, like, they knew they weren't going to come back, even though they told me they would. And they felt it would be better if I just didn't know, which maybe, but also, wow, it was hard to raise you sometimes. <laughs> he does laugh at that. I'll make sure to prove that you did a great job then. She smiles at you. And then he hugs her. Aww. And she Aww. hugs back and lifts her wings up so you can't touch them. <laughs> <laughs> Damn it. So Brandy wakes up early in the morning one day. I will I will cast sending to Merlin, because I will assume that Merlin is awake. You got a second to chat? Oh, sure. Where do you need to meet me? Wherever you'd like. Meet me by the watchtower. Will do. We'll go to the watchtower to chat with Morlin. Um, and you see her stepping out. I always need to look at this NPC's name because I know her as the masseuse. Uh, the sexy massage woman. Um, you see Valoran up in the watchtower. Again, they've kind of made it like a little like camp out area for them because Merlin wants to be away from Arthur. <laughs> so That's valid. So she is like gives him, giving her a kiss on the lips goodbye and starting to go down the ladder. Adorable. It's fucking gay. <laughs> Brandy won't say anything about that though. And she sees you and takes a deep breath as she hits the final rung on the ladder and steps down. Yes. Morning. Good morning. Hope you're sleeping well. Just fine, thank you. Hope you're feeling uh, better and, you know, it seems like for the most part, you got most of your memories back. Most of them, yes. If I don't have any, then I don't know. Sir. Uh... I just want to get one, one thing out of the way, I suppose. Uh, just something quick. You, you were found, or you were in mirror depths last anyone saw of you. Yes. What was that? We might be heading there, so if there's any useful information you got, it might be helpful for us. Well, I started to go to the Prime Capital. Um, I was accepted entry there to try and see their clerics. I didn't actually ever make it into the walls, though. Um, I think I, I must have lost myself at that point. Mm. There was just something that drew me there, to Mirror Depths. I don't really know what, honestly. I just felt like I should go there. And I did. And then Arthur found me. Let's see. Felt drawn there. Like there was something I was supposed to go there for. Or there was something that was calling me. Hard to explain. It's all fuzzy. Uh, I think I might have some inkling into what that might be. But then again, I don't. I don't know for sure. I don't have all the details yet. And then you ain't the uh, the chosen one anymore, from what I hear. No, I'm not sure how widespread you want that knowledge to be, but honestly, I don't. I don't particularly care. Yeah, we don't plan on spreading that too much. I'm sure. Well, people think I'm dead anyway. Well, or oh, I forgot. No, they pretended to be me, didn't they? <laughs> Yeah, they they kept your kept your image alive. The only people who knew you were gone were uh, anybody here, so at least there were no unfortunately awkward funerals. Yeah. Uh so you obviously know about me, given your um little stunt when we were 
I skating. <laughs> Obviously recognized me. Yes, I did. Care to elaborate on that? Um, I mean, I remember you. Yes. Do we need to elaborate? I... I guess not. You've clearly mixed yourself up with some powerful people who I don't think it'll matter what my opinion on you is. I still... I don't know. Um... If you came here to apologize or to try to make amends, I lost plenty of friends to you. I really would rather not talk to you at all. I'm being honest. Other people can forgive you. Because they don't know anyone personally that you hurt. I don't know if I ever will be able to. All I do is look at you and see their faces. Yeah, that's fair. I don't blame you. Yeah, I hurt a lot of people. It is baffling to me how people can forget that so easily. It's also got to do with a lot of uh, trying on my part to show that I'm making amends, especially since I was dealt such a bad hand. Not to take away from what I've done, obviously. I can't do that. But I'm working my my tail off to, uh, to at least do good in this world while I'm here still. I don't know what you know about history or anything like that. And I doubt it would change your feelings either way. I don't want to change your feelings. You're completely justified in hating me. But I'm sure, I don't know. Do you know your history about all that? I know that there were rumors that there was a plague going around and that you were infected with it and that's why you acted the way that you did. No, it was much worse than that. There was, yeah, no plague, no disease, nothing of the sort. Just a lot of folks that the churches of Lemony decided to lock up until one day they got out. I wanted a little bit of revenge. Suppose that infects like a plague itself, though. Violence only breeds more violence, so... Obviously, that doesn't justify what I did, but it goes some way to explain it a bit more, I hope. Honestly, I don't know if that makes me feel better or worse that you were in your right mind. I don't know if somebody who's raised in that sort of hatred could ever be in their right mind. I was raised to be a monster, a killing machine. They got exactly what they wanted out of me. The church and Aelia and all them. Well, clearly people see something in you, because I know for a fact Destel knows who you are, and she seems to be fine with you staying here, so I guess it's not up to me. She had me staying here to keep an eye on me. She was just as wary of me as anyone should be. I will be civil with you. I'm not going to attack you. I'm not going to say anything. But again, I don't think I'm ever going to be able to forgive you. And I don't want you to ask that of me. I wouldn't. I just... Hearing that my... History was so manipulated in that way. Uh, I want to clear that up because one, it hides what those who did that to me did and therefore absolves them of their, their hand in it. But also claiming it was a, a plague also uh, in some sense could be seen as absolving me of blame if people just thought I lost my mind. I had, but for a completely different reason. I just want to clear things up, I guess. I don't want people's forgiveness. I want to help people, help who I can, and do right by the second chance that I've been given. If people think ill of me still, that's... By all means, they're free to. I don't blame them, but... It's not gonna stop me from trying to help the people that I can. 
If it makes you feel any better, after Fo'olar burned to the ground, Lemony's kind of been forgotten about as a deity. Not many people worship them anymore. It's a little bit considered taboo. Bad luck. There are some places still in Winaria, but they are few and far between. Well, it seems like Lemony didn't take too kindly to that, given uh, what we've come to know about them, so... We're gonna have to, uh... Make sure people really forget about them. Is the plan. Always a strange religion. Yeah. I mean... People worshipped Claytor without ever knowing... Where he was or what was going on with him. So I suppose it's not too strange. It's just when you have people who claim... That they've met someone but no actual... Proof. The waters get muddy. Prophets become gods of their own, almost. You're right. <sighs> anyway. I'm sorry for bothering you. Uh, I wish you the best with, uh... Your new... Partner there, and, uh... Wherever life... Leads you from here on out. And yeah... Thanks for giving me the chance to at least, uh, explain myself a little bit more. I do hope, at the very least, that you can be better. You were clearly brought back. And if something brought you back for a reason, then I hope it's a good one. I certainly hope so, too. I've been... Working my ass off trying to save folks and put the universe back together and all that, so I'd certainly hope uh, I've accomplished a little bit of good. <laughs> good luck. You too. And she climbs back up the ladder. And you hear coming from up there, what's that about? Like, from the uh, up the <laughs> <laughs> And we'll walk off. All right, and we'll do the Miffy scene after like a few days. Okay, yeah, that's fine. Um, given given him some space. Yeah, and uh, in between that time, Theo is actively practicing his meditation. You would probably see he's kind of almost put himself back into the same situation he was there, where he's pretty much become an employee overnight. <laughs> <laughs> where he'll go up to Estelle and ask for things to do until she's finally like, here, just take things, go away. And we'll go up to the other mentors. Uh, Peter's been keeping pretty much to himself in his cabin. You've barely, anyone's barely seen him. But yeah, he's been out and about, very active and around. Um, and Essence also has been acting like that. So they've, Essence has been almost like trying to do tasks that will be near him. And he's been trying to do tasks that will be farther away because she's just a lot. It's not necessarily that he doesn't want to talk to her. It's just she wants to be around him clearly all the time. And he wants space because it's she's just a lot. So, so you probably find him, uh, we'll say he's probably helping clean up after uh, a meal recently. As Miffy like is about to pick up, I guess a plate, Theo is going to pick it up. Oh, hey, Theo. Hey, uh, you seem to be busy as usual. Oh, just keeping, keeping myself busy, yeah. Yeah, uh, and you're, he like leans in a little bit, avoiding essence? Uh, she, she wants, she wants to talk a lot about stuff uh, that I, I don't, I don't know anything about. Um, I think she's trying to get me to remember things, which, which is fine. It's just, it's just a lot. It is, it, it is a lot. And Thea will kind of walk with him. How are you feeling in this past week? <sighs> I, I don't know. Uh, I thought getting memories back, any memories, would be good. <sighs> He's like hesitating. You can see he like sets one of the plates down in front of him um, where the dirty dishes are. I, I just worry. What if I don't like who I used to be? Well, you're not them anymore. But if I get memories back, what if I don't like them? I never considered that before. 
but when, um, when we got the one memory back, I guess you, you guys asked for a good one of Neon Essence, and I just, I worry if that was a good one. <laughs> what kind of relationship we had. Relationships can be complicated. Family can sometimes not be all it's cracked up to be. Even if someone is well-meaning, it still might not go as uh, well as would be hoped. I don't think Essence is a bad person at all. She seems really nice, actually. It's it's just... I don't want to unload things onto you. We're still kind of strangers. No, I... I came to listen. With, with all the big stuff going on, it's just gonna sound silly, though. <sighs> you know... I have a sister. And, uh... We have quite the strained relationship. But sometimes I wonder if I met her again, if we might be friends, you know? It's complicated. It's, um... <sighs> I know who I remember, and it was not great, but she could have changed in the time that I haven't seen her, which has been over a decade now. And I wonder maybe if I did ever see her again, if it would be good to give her a second chance. Maybe I will. If I ever do get that chance. But... I think it would be good to remember... We're not who we used to be. Even if you do remember someone that you... You don't like who it was. You're not who you used to be. I think... A good message to Essence would be... To stop trying to reach into the past, try to make a connection now. See how it goes. <sighs> Even if you do, though, there's no obligation. Family doesn't always have to be by blood. And blood family, you don't always have to pursue that. Can I tell you what I remember? Maybe someone else could... I don't know... Figure out... Something? If you're comfortable with that, I would love to listen. It's... it's nothing bad. It's... I mean, we asked for a good memory, right? So it wasn't anything horrible. I remember that we... We used to practice a lot. In the caves. Claytor was very adamant that we learned to protect ourselves, so... We did a lot of um, archery and, and wrestling and, and weapon crafting and, and all that. And Essence was always really competitive. And I remember I, I, I beat her one time. And then she, she, just, she just ran off after that. But that, that was the best memory that came to mind when we asked for it. So why... <sighs> I just feel bad. She didn't seem like she was happy at all. And I, I, that's the best memory I have of her. <sighs> Again, family can be very complicated. If I were to be in the same situation with my sister, that would also be a happy memory for me, so... <laughs> it... You know, it just... <sighs> things can be complicated. I, I just remember feeling like... I felt like I was, I was useful. Because all my other siblings were really good at stuff like that, too, and obviously Essence was the best. And everyone was really happy for me when I beat her, but she obviously wasn't. I don't know anything else, really, besides those fleeting thoughts. I don't even remember the faces of our other siblings. A sibling rivalry. I mean, it's been a long time for myself. But a lot of external forces can, uh cause siblings to have a strain on their relationship. And even if feeling happy that you beat her and that you felt like you were more useful in that moment, I think it just speaks to how you were both raised. You were a child, it's not really your fault. Yeah. 
she still seems like she likes me. So, I hope there was more than just that. I'm sure there is. Even if there's not, though, it's... it's the past. She doesn't act like she used to in that memory at all. A lot more scared. Well, she's been through a lot. And she's a little bit desperate to, um, amend for what she feels like she's done wrong. Maybe I'll try to talk to her again. Hmm. It's difficult being a victim of circumstance, and that seems like you sort of both are, so... I'm scared to know who I was, but also... I feel like it's... it's all I really have. <sighs> if... learning more m of your memories... It may say to you, your curiosity. I'd like to continue to help you with that, if that's what you want. I think I'd like to get to know Essence a bit more before we try that again. I want to know what she's like now. Theo smiles. Of course. The others were, uh... talking about our next move. Did you still want to help with that? I mean, sure. I've been doing a lot around here, but honestly, there's not a ton. I don't think they're doing training or anything right now, so there's just kind of dishes and cleaning and upkeep and all that. Not like it was at the at the resort. <laughs> okay. That makes me feel better. Your, uh, eagerness to help. I like to be kept busy, and there's just not a lot here. Right. Well... We'll be very glad to have you. I hope I can help you guys. Like you helped Claytor for me. <laughs> yes. Um, we'll probably also be taking Essence because part of our mission involves someone she feels... Mm, not indebted to, but... Like she wants to help. Well, I guess I'll be getting to know her. Right. Just wanted to warn you, just in case. I appreciate it. We should finish cleaning up. <laughs> Eager to continue to help. Just smiles at that, and then you both go to help finish cleaning up. Hi, everyone. Thanks for listening to another episode of Chosen Ones. Next episode is our mid-season finale, so if you're already in our Discord, we invite you to stop by and join in on the excitement. The link is at the top of the description. And a big thanks to our high chair patrons, Melty Moon, Travis, Alex Alana, Epiorium, Homunculus Dereluctus, Joker Dino, Keelan, Bubby, Zab, Z-Guts, and Mr. Balkadon. We'll see you soon, fellow sparks. He sounded like Zayu for a second. I kind of wonder how he's doing right now. We cut away. He's he's screaming. Livers has pushed him under the water of the hospital. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> We're deeply in love. No. no. <laughs> I'm sure once you're back from your little trip, it wouldn't. Hold on, there's a plane. I'm very sorry. It's so loud. <laughs> it's me. I'm taking off now. <laughs> Goodbye. <laughs> <laughs> fucking wings go out like an airplane and just <laughs> <shoot>. <laughs> um